guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is already the fifth week of our Funda Friday series, Drugstore Edition. And yes, I am so excited because we are halfway through the entire series. And for those of you who are new to my channel, Funda Friday series is where I normally select a specific brand of foundation that matches our category, which is drugstore. And I normally share my review, full thoughts, demonstration, as well as an 8-hour wear test. So if you want to know what's the featured foundation for this week, then please keep on watching. Alright, so let's begin the demonstration. Pero siempre, let's get our hair out of the way. Para hindi tayo mahirapan. And then, let's start with the foundation. So, the foundation that we will be reviewing for today is the ever famous Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Yes, ito po ang foundation na i review natin today. I'm so excited because I've heard so many good things about this foundation. So, simula na nga natin. So, for its price, it says here it's 499 pesos only. And it is available sa lahat ng drugstore and um, department stores dito sa Pilipinas. So the packaging, it is a simple, a little small because medyo wide siya, na bottle na may black cap and of course, um, glass na bottle. So it's only, um, it says here, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft, soft Beige. And it is cruelty-free and this contains 30 ml of product. So sa likod, ito yung itsura niya. Kung makikita nyo, nakalagay dyan yung kanyang shade and also nakalagay na Goodbye Photo Flashback helps eliminate white particles reflection. And it is tested under 7 light conditions and yung iba, ibang language na. Pero nakalagay peel off, so sige peel off natin, maka may further information. Oh yes, meron nga. Pag pinil off mo siya, nakalagay sa likod yung 7 types of light test na ginawa, which is clear blue sun, um, sunlit sky, outdoor PM, inner PM, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and nightclub light. So it delivers virtually flawless and buildable coverage every time, and precision match color with matte second skin finish, and soft focus properties helps perfect appearance of the skin. And the ingredients niya, it's basically water-based kasi nakalagay dito, isododecane, silopestacilosane, water, glycerin, so on and so forth. So, um, yung dimethicone is actually parang kasampung ingredient niya. So, technically, this is water-based. So, kalug-kalugin muna natin habang binubuksan natin yung um, or narrate natin yung details about this product. It only has five shades na available online when you purchase it. Lazada, Shopee, um, and other online. Pero, de depende sa shop. Sa, um, I think sa Lazada, I'm oh, sorry, sa Landmark, eight yata yung shades niya. So, this has actually a lot of shades kung sa US kayo bibili. Pero sa Pilipinas, nag-arrange lang sa five to eight. Ano ba yan? 5 to 8 yung shades niya. So, okay na rin. Depende kasi kung um, saan ka bibili. So, ang claims nito ay, of course, nasabi ko na nga, photo ready, no flashback. It's a matte foundation but light diffusing, um, with light diffusing complex. And it underwent 7 um, light, dif um, light photo light test. And it's always making you camera ready without the white cast. So, Napakaganda ng uh, pinapromise nito or kiniklaim ng foundation na to. Kaya I'm so excited to use this. So basically, if you're new to my channel, Funda Friday series actually allows me to apply the foundation on my face and share with you my full thoughts and as well as demonstration. So for the demonstration, half of my face, I will be using a foundation brush and I will put primer underneath and bake it with translucent powder, which is my Laura Mercier. And on the other side, for normal people who don't actually bake and do not use primer, I will be using sponge on this side of my face. And just for the sake of those beginners, I will be using 
my fingertips on my forehead. So, simulan na nga po natin. Lapit kayo ng konti. Alright. Wala po kasi, phone lang ang gamit ko, so wala akong pang zoom sa camera. Alright, so, simulan na natin ang application. Buksan natin yun. So, wala siyang, wala siyang, uh, tawag doon, uh, seal na plastic. Bakit? Oh! Screw, <laughs> screw cap siya. Okay? Screw cap and apparently, wala po tayong um, pump. Shake muna natin siya. So, ayun nga, screw cap siya. And, uh, gamit tayo na brush on this side. Before that, gumamit muna tayo ng primer. NYX Angel Veil Primer, which is my ever favorite. Malapit na nga siyang maubos kasi halos isang taon ko na siyang ginagamit. And, dito lang sa areas na enlarge yung pores, which is basically my entire nose and the sides of it. And kung may leftover, yan lang gamitin natin sa rest of my face. Alright. Okay, so, simulan na natin. Sana tama tong shade na to sa akin, soft beige. Alright, so ito lang. Yung consistency niya ay liquidy, water-based nga talaga siya. And ang bilis niyang spread Oh, talagang watery talaga siya. Pero it seems like it will dry up powdery or powder matte um, kapag nag-dry na siya. So, hindi natin siya measure So, ganyan na lang. Kung one pump ba siya or something. Basta yung isang deep, deep, isang dip ng spatula. Medyo hindi siya hygienic ka, pero ayoko kasing isalin sa aking um, back of my hand kasi parang masasayang lang siya. Okay? Ito yung brush. Medyo may pagka pinkish. Patay natin yung electric fan na ingay. May pagka cool undertone ito. May pagka pinkish pero carry na. So kasi dahil, kasi dahil, kasi na dahil pa. Um, water base siya. Medyo mahirap siyang ikalat na brush. Ay, ano ba yan? Kasi, streaky. Pero kung galing ka maggamit ng brush, good for you. Kasi, mas maganda yung coverage kalimitan kapag brush. So, yan. Actually, medium coverage naman siya kasi naktakpan niya yung um, dark under eyes ko. Ayan o. No? And natakpan niya rin yung redness dito. Medyo amoy, <laughs> medyo amoy pintura lang siya. Di naman ganun ka strong. Sakto lang. Yan. Before and after. Other side, gamitan naman natin ng sponge. So, huwa ulit tayo. Isang dip lang. Alright. Yan. Mahirap palang tansyahin ito, no? So, hindi ito maganda gamitin sa clients. Dapat bumili kayo ng pump. Patransfer nyo siya sa isang dispenser. Kasi, I'm hygienic. Kung ikaw lang mag-isa, okay lang. Kasi, you have to make sure naman na clean yung face mo before you start, di ba? Dito, tayo magsisimula sa sponge na ito. And, dump to. So, let's begin. First time kong mag-blend ng aking foundation na lefty ang gamit. <laughs> Kasi nakita ko pag nag-edit ako ng film, natatakpan ng salamin yung aking face. So, basically, hindi nyo nakikita. Pwede para naman akong gumamit ng kanan, pero ilayo natin ang 
ating mirror. Siyempre, mas sheer out yung kalalabasan kapag sponge. Pero, mas flawless siya tignan compared dito kasi nga may may mga streaks. So, tayo ay nasa second layer na ng ating foundation. Naputol kasi um, konti lang yung space. So, second, we are now applying second layer to know if this foundation is buildable. And if makaka-cover talaga siya ng blemishes. Right? I don't know, pero parang meron akong sensation na parang stinging sensation na nararamdaman. Dahil ba yan sa skincare underneath the makeup? O talagang ganun siya? Kasi para talaga siyang studio fix fluid ng MAC. Yung amoy niya. Actually, mas mild pa nga ito kasi talagang parang paint thinner ang amoy nun. Ito, parang ganun pero mild ng konti. Yan. Finish lang natin to ng very very light para lang matanggal yung streak marks. Pero yung pinang-apply natin is brush. So, alam natin na mas maganda yung coverage kapag brush. Pero, yung finish medyo streaky siya kapag brush. Kasi, ayan, may streak sa ilalim ng mata ko. So, yun lang naman yung purpose ng test na ito. And, syempre, may primer. Alright, so now we will proceed with the forehead using our fingertips. Very, very konting-konti lang kasi hindi ko naman kailangan ng coverage dyan. So, fingertips lang para malaman natin kung para sa mga subscribers natin na walang brush and mas sanay gumamit ng fingertips, kakayanin ba? First layer. Second layer. Kasi two layers na nilagay natin sa face. Diba? Uy! Naparami. Ito na lang. So, it is doable. Kaya naman siya ng fingertips. Walang problema. Blendable siya. Gamit ang fingertips only. So, Okay na siya. Before you put any powder, make sure na nadaanan nyo siya ng mabilis para walang um, creasing. Kasi kung may crease yan, tapos sinet nyo ng powder, eh di magsiset din yung crease, ba? Diba? Hindi naman siya ganun kabilis mag-set. Pero, mas full coverage talaga siya kapag brush ang ginamit. So, let's set it with powder. With Laura Mercy powder. Set lang tayo sa kaliwa na hindi natin nilagay ng primer. And bake tayo sa kanan na nag-primer tayo. Siyempre, i-bake ang super Oily na nose. Half lang. And without any additional product on this puff, set lang natin to para hindi lang siya basa. And, gagamit tayo ng powder brush para iset ng powder. Again, walang additional product to ha. And then, I'm gonna get the powder brush. Dip. Siyempre dun sa powder and ganyan lang. So basically, hindi naman natin pinatagal yung powder sa pagsiset. Talagang sinet, um, sa 
pagsiset compared to baking. Alright, so I'll just finish the rest of my makeup and I'll get back to you in a while. Alright guys, so I'm done with the rest of my makeup. Very, very light lang. Sa bahay lang naman tayo. I'm just removing the excess powder from baking. And this is how it actually looks like. This is using sponge. Hindi natin nalagyan ng primer and sinet lang natin ng powder. Well, on this side, brush ang ginamit. Nag-primer tayo and binake din natin siya. So, this is how the foundation looks like on my face. Feeling ko naman okay naman yung color match niya. So, I will be inserting a video and also photos under natural lighting and also with flash photography para malaman talaga natin kung ito ay photo ready all the time. So, I'll see you guys later. This is how the foundation looks like in natural lighting. Dito sa side of, on the left side of my face, sponge ang ginamit, hindi tayo nag primer, and sinet lang ng powder. On this side of my face, which is the right side, left side of your screen, brush ang ginamit, nag primer tayo, and as well as nag bake. So this is again how it looks like. Alright, so time now is 2.30. So the time, um, the start time of this wear test is 2.30 p.m. So I'll see you guys later after a couple of hours. Hey guys, it is already 4 hours after we applied the foundation and this is how my face looks like. Siyempre, hindi kayo masyado naka-zoom in, zoom ko ng konti. Yes, this is how the foundation looks like on my face. It is now 6.30 p.m. and I'm super, super, super loving it right now because it really is still looking flawless and parang freshly applied sa aking face. Four hours na pero wala pa rin oiling, wala pa rin greasing, wala pa rin anything na nag-smudge sa aking face. That means this is really a flawless looking foundation. Although, wala na tayong lipstick. So, Ngayon, masasabi ko na this is kind of heat resistant kasi nag-blower ko ng hair kasi nga hindi na ganun kaganda ang hair ng lola nyo. Nag-blower ko ng hair so medyo mainit yon pero walang nag-smudge sa foundation ko. Nandyan pa rin silang lahat. So, that's it for the 4-hour update and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, it's quarter to ten, so it's been seven hours that I have this foundation on. And ngayon ko pa lang makikita na meron ng nag-pick through na oil or shininess dito. Kita nyo ba? Ayan, shiny na siya, but the rest of my face is still matte and flawless. As in talagang super super ganda niya. Ito o, sa under yellow light, warm light tayo. Nakakaloka, nakakatakot ang lola mo. Ayan. So, maganda pa. Magandang, 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 maganda talaga siya. As in, flawless, photo ready. And ngayon, 7 hours. Ika 7 hours pa lang bago nagkaroon ng shininess. Although, hindi naman masyadong mainit ngayon. Umuulan nga technically. So, I'm not really sure kung ganito din yung itatagal niya kapag nasa arawan ka or hindi. Pero, definitely for events, tatagal talaga tong foundation na to. 7 hours before you can start doing touch-up. Kung um, sa, para sa iyo yung ganitong oiliness ay eh, kailangan ng itouch up. Pero for me, kahit hindi mo pa siya itouch up, okay siya mukha pa rin. Healthy mukha pa rin bagong lagay yung foundation. So, so far, so good. Again, this is the 7th hour check-in. See you later! Hey guys, it is actually 11 already. So, na nalikta ko nanonood kasi ako ng YouTube. So, I will now go to the studio and share with you my full thoughts and review about this product. Alright film na tayo. guys, I know it's already 11. Um, nalit tayo ng update. This time, napasarap yung panonood ko ng TV. Kaya ngayon na lang ako natapos. So, it's beyond 8 hours. And this is how it looks like. Lapit ko yung konti. This is how it looks like in person. So far, it is still super duper looking nice after 8 hours natin siyang nasuot. Yun lang, meron na siya talagang oiliness sa nose. And meron ng creasing dito. Alam nyo naman, napakalalim ng laugh line ko dito, dito. Hindi masyado. Pero, forgivable pa siya kasi more than 8 hours na. Other than that, maganda pa siya. Pero, the signs of oiliness or the oiling 
is actually showing. Or, excuse me, it's speaking through na. So, balik ko na kayo sa malayo. And let's talk through the details and my reaction and also first impression with this foundation. So let's talk about the price. For the price of 499 pesos, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 rating. Kasi alam nyo naman ako, 5 is, 500 is my average price when it comes to um, drugstore foundation. And this is on point. 499 pesos, it's not, it's not expensive, it's not as cheap. As other local brands, but for what it can deliver, as in talagang photo ready ako, even after four hours, sorry, eight hours, even after eight hours, ang ganda pa rin niya kahit yung itsura ko ay eh, parang gusto ko ng matulog, magandang maganda pa rin siya sa paningin, and as well as sa photos. So, going to, or moving on to availability, it's five out of five kasi sa kahit saan may wet and wild, kung hindi naman siya available sa mga department stores near you, Definitely, mabibili nyo siya sa Lazada and Shopee. Now, for the packaging, walang pump ang foundation na ito. And for me, it's a, uh, it's a make or break kang kang kung may pump or wala ang isang foundation. And because of that, I'm only giving this a 4 out of 5 when it comes to packaging. But it is definitely nice kasi spatula naman siya. Hindi siya yung wala kang anything na pwede mong I'm gamitin to apply the foundation. So it's still 4 out of 5 when it comes to the packaging. Now for the shade range. It ranges from 5 to 8 depending kung saan ka bibili. Online ba? Or physical store. So I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 kasi hindi kasi siya readily available. May mga stores na 5 shades lang. May mga stores na 8. Depende. Hindi siya ganun ka um, consistent. So I'm only giving it 4 out of 5 when it comes to shade range. Now, for the formulation, it's definitely a 5 out of 5 kasi um, water-based siya, so hindi siya, uh, it's non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna clog your pores, and it's definitely um, friendly when it comes to your skin. So, for its claims, isa-isahin natin, ha? It's a matte foundation. It is definitely matte foundation, but it's not that unforgivable matte na parang Sobrang plakado na halos parang wala ka ng um, shine na makita. It's a healthy version of matte. Talagang pang event yung, pag, um, yung pagiging matte ng foundation na ito. So that's a check. Your skin only better. Yes, it looks so flawless on the skin. As in talagang parang high-end foundation. And then, um, camera ready all the time. That's definitely correct because... Kahit nag-photo um, ako sa madilim na lugar and naglagay ako ng flash, talagang hindi ka mag-ghost looking dito sa foundation na ito. So that's a check. And yes, walang white cast. So for me, for the claims, it's 5 out of 5 kasi lahat na kinlaim and pinramis niya is very, very much true. So moving forward to application, I think nakita niyo naman kanina na both ways, um, brush or meron, uh, brush man or sponge maganda siya with primer man or without primer maganda even using fingertips on my forehead so nasa sa na lang yun kung kailangan depende sa pangangailangan ng balat nyo so kung gumagamit kayo ng smoothing primer kasi gusto nyo mas smooth then go on if wala kayong pambiling primer o hindi kayo nagpa primer okay na okay lang din wala kayong dapat ipangamba kasi maganda pa rin ang foundation na ito kahit walang primer now for the photo ready, definitely. Five, oh sorry. So five, five out of five ties application. And let's just make it uh, uh, out there. Five out of five application. And for photo ready, definitely. Da. Five out of five kasi it is really true to its claim. Na photo ready ka all the time. Up to nine hours with this foundation. Hindi ko masabi beyond nine hours kasi nasa ika ninth, running nine hour, ninth hour pa lang ako. So that's what I can attest to. Wear test, definitely. Um, pinawisan ako kasi nahook ako dun sa isang sayaw. Um, and nag ako mag-practice-practice at mag-aral-aral ng choreography. Pero kahit pinawisan ako, nandyan pa rin siya. So it's definitely um, a long wearing and um, sweat resistant foundation. So it's a 5 out of 5 for me for the wear test. And lastly, for longevity... Hello, umabot naman pas nga tayo ng 8 hours. So, it is definitely a 5 out of 5 for me when it comes to longevity. Kasi tatagal talaga tong foundation na to sa'yo. 
maliban na lang kung super super mega oily ka, I would highly um, recommend na mag uh, bake ka. I-bake mo yung areas na super super nag nag oil kasi dito lang sa sides ako nakapag-bake, di ba? Dito nga natin nag-bake on the right side of my face, sa left hindi. So, syempre yung oiling ng nose ko nagpi-peak through na siya kanina pang 6th hour. Pero other than that, this is definitely a highly highly recommended foundation. And nagsisisi ako bakit ngayon ko lang tinry to. Na discover na ko na siya before paano na hype tung 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 foundation na to. But it's not something that is accessible sa SM dito sa amin and online lang siya available. And I don't have any reference kung um cash or kung anong shade yung bagay sa akin. That's the reason why yung avail um yung shade range natin is four lang kasi nga hindi ganun kadami yung shade niya. So, uh, that's it for today's video. I hope nakatulong tong video na to to let you decide whether or not you would want to try and buy this foundation. And if meron kayo kakilala na gustong itry ang foundation na to, don't forget to share this video. Hit the like and subscribe button. And I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. And again, this is Makeup Ni Maria. Goodbye!